Hello, this is channel Easy Self Host. In this video, we are going to talk about self-hosting web services on the cloud. In my previous videos, I mainly talk about self-hosting on home servers. Well, most ideas are the same. There are still some differences when hosting on the cloud. This time, we are still going to use Vault Warden as an example. And we are still going to configure HTTPS to secure the connection. And we are going to use AWS EC2 to host our services. EC2 is just a virtual server product that can be easily found on other cloud providers. Let's get started by creating an EC2 instance. In the cloud console, go to the EC2 page and hit launch an instance. Name our instance and choose Ubuntu as our operating system. The free tier t2.micro is already enough for our Vault Warden server. Next step, we are going to create a K pair so that we can connect to the server using SSH. Make sure to save the key properly as this is the only time we can download the key. In the network setting, we can allow SSH from only our IP to make it more secure and allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic from the internet so we can connect to our web services from anywhere. Then we can launch our instance and wait for it to run. By default, AWS will assign a public IP address every time you start the instance. Although we can use this IP address to connect to the instance, it's hard for us to configure the domain name because the IP address is changing. So we are going to assign a static IP address to this instance using Elastic IP. First, click Allocate Elastic IP Address to get an IP address. Then associate this IP address to our running instance. Then our EC2 instance will have a static unchanged IP address. Then we can go to our domain provider to point our domain name to this IP address. I recommend creating a wildcard rule. So we have multiple domains pointing to the same IP address. Then let's use the public IPv4 DNS to connect to the instance using SSH. We are going to use our command line for SSH. These commands apply to Linux or Mac OS, but there might be some difference on Windows. Consider using Linux subsystem for Windows if you want to type the same commands. First, we need to configure the key permission so that it can be used by SSH. Then we use this SSH command to connect to our instance. The default user for Ubuntu is just Ubuntu. We need to set up a few things on this instance. First, let's install Docker using the official get docker script. Let's also configure Docker for rootless user. And looks like we need to install a package before setting up. We also need to allow unprivileged user to use port starting from 80 so that we can run our web services more easily. After this, we can log out our remote instance. This time, we are going to use compose files on our local file system to run services on a remote machine back to our own computer. Let's create an alias for our remote SSH connection. You can use any editor to edit the file .ssh slash config under our home directory. In the config, we need to set an alias and specify the host name and the key file. You can test your alias using this simpler version of SSH command. After this, let's use our local Docker command to create a context for remote Docker engine. Use this context and we can control the Docker engine on our UC2 instance. For the Docker Compose file, we are going to run the Nginx proxy manager and the Vault Warden server. The ports are all exposed in Nginx proxy manager. In the command line, let's find and run our Docker Compose file. After this, our services are up on our EC2 instance. Next, we are going to configure proxy rule on port 81 but we need to allow port 81 access on AWS first. Go to network security group setting and allow port 81 TCP connection from only our IP address. Then we can access the Nginx proxy manager admin page through the public IP address and port 81. In the proxy manager web page, let's log in using the default email and password. Before configure any proxy rules, let's get SSL certificate set up. Since we've already pointed our domain to this IP address, we just need to type in our domain names and we can automatically get the certificates. Here, we set up two domains, both for the Vault Warden server and the proxy manager admin page. 
After this, we add proxy rules pointing the domain names to the services. Then let's use the domain name to test the services. It looks like the vote warden server is running. The only step left is to disable the port 81 access in AWS, since we can use the domain name to access the admin page now. That's all for self-hosting a web service on AWS. But there are a few things that can be better and more secure. One thing is that we use the unencrypted HTTP connection to set up our proxy manager. Another thing is our admin page is open to the public. In a future video, we are going to set up a VPN to address both problems. That's all for this video. Please consider subscribing for content like this. You can find the Docker Compose file on GitHub and the link is in description below. Thank you for watching.